<coughs> hey, welcome to Cooking with Jack. Today is going to be a quick episode. I just got back from a gym and I did my first spin class and it has been freaking amazing. Anyways, right now we're going to just cook a quick, huh? Oh, they're asking what I'm filming. I'm filming Cooking with Jack, episode three. I am going to be making chicken breast rotisserie non stir fry amazing chicken breast on amazing stuff so stay tuned this is cooking with jack So I'm getting talked to by my roommate over there. Anyways, if you hear anything in the background, it's Chris. I'm trying to black out this wonderful light here. Woo! It's like I'm like I got like heaven on my side or something. He's blessing me with this amazing food. Okay, so the ingredients. Ha! <laughs> Oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and vinegar. It's really easy. It's really simple. Um, why am I making a video? Because it's because I'm Jack. What do you want me to say? Okay, here we go. Okay. Before you want to cook this, what you want to do is you want to take a knife and you want to just cut slits. But then the chicken breasts. You don't want to cut yourself. You know that would be bad. So you do that. Kill, 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 kill. So yeah, just little little cuts and slits inside it. I'm gonna just put it like this because it's. I don't wanna. Here we go. I see. Yeah. All right. Is this boring? I hope it's not. It's probably entertaining. I don't know. I'm actually getting a lot of comments from people about it, and it's really funny because I, I don't mind. Like, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to share my knowledge of cooking, which is probably not that much. But you know what? If I could help somebody out, it might as well be you, right? I mean. I'm doing good for myself. You know, I'm just trying to better myself. Okay, so here we go. See if you could see, I got like slits all up in there. Gla 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 gla. It's probably about like an eight ounce piece of chicken. So, yeah. Okay. Now, make sure before you do this, you wash your hands. Okay, you don't want to be taking a dump and then fixing your food for freaking other people. It just wouldn't be right. Okay, are you ready for everything that's going to be awesome? Okay, I'm ready to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start up. We're going to put it on the high heat. High heat. What you do? You're going to get your vinegar. Okay? You're messing up my spotlight. I have my spotlight. <sighs> this world. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. My wonderful roommate, uh, Megan, here. I don't know if she wants to make a cameo on here. No, you don't? Okay. Well, she doesn't. Okay, so, so what you're going to do, you're going to pour the vinegar in here. All right? No oil this time. Just pour a little bit of vinegar. Or actually, probably a little bit of lye. You got to let it soak up in there. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Yeah. And this time, well, actually, I, don't, I thought I would have a plastic thing. Okay? What you do is, very simple utilities and very simple instructions what you do is you pour this on top of it a little base mixture on it and there's my roommate in the background oh she made a cameo there she is all right cool there you go all right and then we are gonna put the garlic pate on top of it you want to kind of like make it a little thick because it is healthy it is amazing okay and what else we're gonna do? What else? What else? What else we're we gonna do? I want a beer, but I can't because I'm healthy eating. We're gonna sprinkle some oregano on top. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Get it away. Temptation is a mother. Okay. I got the shake weight going. Ready? One, two, three. And... Does anybody else realize that the shake weight is kind of homoerotic? Because think about it. What if you're doing a shake weight in a car? Like you're like you're riding passenger with somebody and you buy a shake weight at Walmart and all of a sudden 
you start doing it in a car. Like your person's driving next to you. Say it's a guy, okay, and he's very good looking, like myself. And another guy is sitting, um, you know, you're in, the, you're in the passenger seat, okay, and you're doing like this. Oh yeah, ah, uh, you get your workout, and then you look over and there's a car full of women or dudes or something. Wouldn't that be kind of? I don't know. It's just really horrible to think about. Oh, back to the food. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we added everything that we needed. Okay, it's on top. Now, you don't want to burn it. I made the mistake earlier of letting it sit. So now since we have everything uh, on sitting on top, we're going to turn down the heat. Okay? Because you don't want it to burn at all. Okay? Okay, you get it? All right, you can hear it. Once you have it boiling, and you can see the vinegar is like boiling around the chicken, you want to flip it over. Okay. Yeah, looks good. So good. Okay. You know, let it sit there. If you press on it, you can kind of see the juices coming out because that's why we cut it. We put slits within it. Okay. If you didn't know, right now I'm kind of like splitting. Because, you know, the camera's right there and you have to be on camera, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm kind of like on like a, like my, my fat burners and stuff because I just worked out. I feel good. Okay. You can hear it sissing. All right, when you hear that part, um, when you flip it over, you get you some uh, top, uh, whatever kind of vinegar. I use, I'm use. i using two, two kinds. And uh, I'm going to spray it on top. Okay. Everyone knows I love vinegar. If you watch any of my videos. Okay. Right now, we gotta find it. I don't know where they put it. I gotta find the hot sauce. Okay. I found the hot sauce. Bam! Dapatio! I love tapatio. Like I like I said in other videos, it tastes so good. Like you can get it for a dollar at the dollar store. Go get some if you haven't done it. Now I'm not dishing the wonderful hot sauce from Tabasco, you know, and Avery Island in Louisiana. But you know what? For West Coast, this is really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a dash of it. Oh, see now it comes out fluently. It really is a dash. All right, I'm gonna soak it in there. And then the cracks of the stuff. Okay, and I get a text message while we're doing this, or probably something else. Okay. All right. After you put the hot sauce on, you flip the chicken back over. Okay. And you let it cook some more. Pretty understandable and easy. After about eight minutes of cooking, this is what your chicken should look like right now. Now in the center, the chicken is still raw. So you just kind of want to just watch it. You don't want to burn it. Every minute and a half, you flip the chicken over so you do not burn it. Now as it's been cooking, a lot of the nutrients from the vinegar has dried up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more vinegar. Put it over the chicken and around it. Okay. Not too much, but just enough. As you can see, it's boiling and it's soaking in all of the nutrients, which is so delicious, guys. Like, it's delicious. I can't explain it. Okay? So like I said, every minute and a half, you want to flip the chicken over. Okay? You can kind of see if it's still raw. By the way you feel it, if it's like really, 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 really tender, then it's probably still cooking. Okay, so it's been a minute and a half since the last one. Also, when you are cooking, you're going to see like kind of like a white substance come up uh, through the cracks that we cut because all oh, the stuff is just coming up. It's like, 
Everyone get your mind out of the gutter, please, because this is a very mature thing. Oh, yeah, now that is looking really good. It kind of looks like barbecue, but it's not. It's freaking chicken with great seasoning made by an amazing chef who is not an actual chef. All right, we are done, ladies and gentlemen. This is chicken breast awesomeness. Peace.